The BBC Presenters Rich List is out this week, with sports presenters expected to top the list. Gary Lineker was paid £1.75 million in 2017-18. to 18. Do the young people of the North East really know who Lineker is, who he played for and why he should be on so much? And what do the over 75s of the North East who are losing their free licence fees have to say? Uh, I think that's the market rate. If you want to employ him to perform his services on football, then so be it. If you want to get someone else, then you have to pay their rates. And I don't believe it's connected to things that you mentioned earlier about the TV licence matter for over 75s. That's a totally unconnected issue. Um, it's completely separate, and that's worthy of a political settlement, not a commercial settlement. I'll know who he is and what he did, but that doesn't mean to say that he should be given the wages what he's been given. He only does one programme, which is much of the day. Do you know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, I don't understand why they would pay somebody so much money only because he played for England. It's disgusting. Well, the government, they could put the money into something else. There's homeless people if you walk around here. There's millions of, there's, there's hundreds of them walking around the streets. And then they're charging pensioners for their TV licence. It's wrong. I can understand people not being happy with how much it is. Um, I think if you are a football fan, you kind of you kind of understand it a bit more just because you kind of appreciate who he is. He's a funny character, um, it's quite popular. So, but yeah, if if you're losing your license fee and it is a lot of money, then yeah, of course. The BBC says it's made substantial progress in reducing the salaries of its highest earning, especially male presenters, and cutting the pay of stars and senior managers would only save a fraction of the cost of free TV licences for older people.